<laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm going to take this moment to say this. So, two, two, two announcements. One is that um, I do have uh, I do have CDs for sale. Uh, they got regular poems on them, but um, and, and I do have CDs. They're only ten dollars, so feel free. Only ten dollars. Yeah, cash or charge. Um, the the those other two poems are on a project that um, is called uh, Intimate Hangover, and so it's like this thing of folklore because I don't like run around with them um, but um, if you um, of course if you buy a CD or if you holler at me I can make sure to let you know um, where to find that uh, and I think there's seven or eight pieces on that as well all talking about intimacy uh, all right. what was that last one? I want that one. Space time continue. Yes, yes, yes. oh yes. Yeah. I, 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 yeah. All right, how we doing on time? We good? You good. Okay. Hey, <laughs> All right, now I gotta figure out how. Now I gotta figure out how to get us from there. Um, that's why we having this conversation right now. <laughs> no, we're not big city. We're not gonna go. We're not gonna do that. Um. All right. <sighs> Really want to, really want to talk about. Um, talk about one of the things. Um, sometimes, man, my thing is about folks in judgment um, and passing judgment about people's lives without knowing what's going on with them. Um, it really irritates me because unless you know somebody's experience or circumstance, you, you can't really, you can't really justify to speak on it. Right. And it makes it even worse when you have some justification you want for your favorite scripture or whatever a piece of advice to make you feel like you can judge someone else. So uh, I wrote this piece, and it's um, centered around this character named Carmen, which is a representation of the movie Carmen from Carmen Jones. Um, but it's about the way people judge and understanding that um, one of the things I got to learn in my life is that, especially, and this is specifically for women that men tend to want we got you know we tend to have all kinds of things to say about how you move and how you do and uh, until we fought in your shoes or learned how to respect the shoes you walk in right. maybe you don't have room to talk right. um, so this piece is called Carmen Excuse me. Hebrews 12 1 I listened to his commentary watching Carmen, no Dorothy Dangerous, but still an actress waiting to be plucked from that corner like a car from the deck. See, life had got good at playing hearts, quick to cast this queen of spades out of its grasp and put responsibility on someone else she knew her role. Wait for action. Look in the car windows for a Bella Fonte or a Pfeiffer because they would try to put still braces on her wrists and take her away from the only way she knew how to make a living. The only steady relationship she had was with the police. Her arrest record was a double album. Her arm was like a producer's hard drive. It was full of tracks. What was the reason? The logic. She's sampling bedrooms and looping empty orgasms, filling back seats like Pro Tools. Cats just wanted to beat, but no substance. No wonder they were one-hit wonders. And her pimp was like Jimmy Iovine. She fell under his spell the minute she entered his scope, making money off over accent and masculinity. Shady dealings where the aftermath of her work was only 50 cent. I wondered why she lived like that. Dressed in a gray dress and charcoal boots like she was wrapped in a storm cloud. Lost her sunshine years ago when daddy's little girl became the object of his devilish desires. And since she ran away, she's only known blue uniforms and no blue skies. Carmen. Made that pilgrimage to that corner every day like Mount Sinai. Head up to the heavens asking for redemption and returning with 10 $100 bills like commandments. And the neighborhood just watched it happen. Mm -hmm. No faith in her salvation, no wish for something more. I wish for a trumpet sound, a voice loud as thunder to instruct her escape. I wish that the next car she got into was driven by Donnie McClurkin so this saint who fell down can get updated on the possibilities for her tomorrows. This old man sees a falling angel. I see a miracle waiting to happen, a testimony waiting to be told. And I know her breakthrough will be biblical, so I watch her like revival, and I know how she survives. A bat that familiar with bed springs knows how to bounce back strong and stiff. She stands tall and regal Carmen. Yeah. These idol watchers could save you, but they want to assault your character. 
They are afraid of your burning bush because that is where men climb to cry to God for release. Each Moses and his staff trying to lead his seed into the promised land. They have forgotten their own sins. They need to consult that good book again because upon this mountain, God gave this world through Carmen a reminder of his own fallacy, baby girl. You are worth more than the price of admission. A blockbuster is not your claim to fame. An Oscar is not your knight in shining armor. You should be awarded an academy instead of a jail cell or a halfway house. I wish that MGM stood for May God Move. I want to animate your prayers and show you how that dream works. They see snapshots of your life, but those pics are not the whole of you. And no matter how many cars you've jumped into, they've never taken the soul of you, Carl. These trials and tribulations won't last. And no matter what these critics think of you, you should never be typecast, Carmen. Mm -hmm.